and I've got a quick uh, PowerPoint on our Sage 100 Amex integration program, and uh, then we'll jump right into a demo. So uh, just a few key things uh, about our integration. So it's compatible with Sage 100 uh, versions 4.3 and above, and it really uh, goes a long way towards eliminating the manual entry of American Express charges in the Sage 100. For those of you who've done it manually, uh, you know that depending on the amount of charges you have every month, it can take hours to enter in all the invoices uh, the first time and then transferring them to the Amex vendor. It can be a really cumbersome manual process and we automate all that for you. So um, really excited to show this to you. It can work obviously for Amex. If you have other credit cards as well, it may work for them also. It depends on the specific credit card. You can call us and ask us about that if you'd like. Um, so it's a really cool thing. Here's some contact information for us and we'll come back to the screen uh, at the end of the uh, demo. Let me see if I can pull up the demo. So here we go. So on the right is an Excel file that we downloaded from American Express. A CSV file actually. And then on the left is our Sage 100 menu. And so what happens when you install our integration is it installs two things to the accounts payable utilities menu. American Express import phase one, American Express import phase two. Phase one uh, imports each of these rows from the Excel file into invoices in AP invoice entry to each of these specific vendors. And then, and you, by the way, it imports them into invoice data entry, so you would have the chance to edit them if you want to, or you can just let them import in the way they are. Phase two takes all of these invoices and transfers them using the Sage uh, AP invoice transfer function into the Amex vendor. So let's uh, do this. So we're gonna do American Express import phase one. Uh, we'll just take today's date. And the first thing it does is asking us for a file and we'll go look and see. And we'll have, okay, we have our Amex import sample file here. I'm gonna click open. I'm not going to worry about invoice dates. We'll just import them all, and I'm going to click Proceed. About to import. Okay. So it found a vendor in our file that it's not finding a vendor number for. And what it does is it takes these vendor names here and looks them up uh, in the vendor file. So I'm going to look up our vendors here and see what the deal is. And what it does is it's showing us that huh, there's a little bit of a typo in our file here. The theater is spelled T-R-E, but in Sage, it's T-E-R. So I'm going to say that's the vendor we want. It picks the default jail account. I'm going to say, OK. Up oh, found tax consultants. Not finding that one in the file either. Let's see if we can pick the tax consultants. Yep, tax consultants, Inc. Great. And there's a jail account. Pacific Tell. Didn't find that one. Let's see if we can find another one for that. There we go, Pacific Telephone, and there's a jail account for that. Roger Lerner, didn't like that one. And there we go, Roger Lerner right there. Import complete, press OK to continue. Do you want to print the invoice register? Yes, I do. And I'm gonna say it's for this batch. And I'm going to make a note, and this will be important later, that this is batch number 44. Okay. And let's proceed. And I'll just do that. Okay, here we go. So it's batch number 44, register number AP-00025. Zero, 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 and that may be important to know later. So I'm just making a little note about that. Okay, and here's our complete journal. I'm just going to close it out. And I'm going to close out our transaction register too. I'm not going to worry about printing a daily transaction register. So now I'm going to go into American Express Import 2, which is going to take all those invoices just imported to the specific vendors and transfer them to the Amex vendor. So first thing it prompts me for is who's our Amex vendor? And it's only going to bring vendors up on this list that are flagged as credit card vendors. So I'm going to select that. Now it wants to know what the journal is. And here's a bunch of AP journals. And if you remember, it was AP Journal 25. So it's right there. 
If you remember, there were 12 entries for a total amount of 896.89. I'm going to select that. Click OK. And all of a sudden, it's already created the, the batch. And this is our new invoice batch. And what we're going to see on this register is an invoice to American Express for the total dollar amount of the batch, 896.89. And all of the individual invoices are transferred over. Right? And it's creating an invoice number for American Express, and the invoice number is the date. So the invoice number it's creating for American Express is 20150916. And obviously there's no journal entry related to that. So now if I went into my vendor inquiry, right, and I pull up my American Express vendor, and that's right here, and I click on invoices, there I go, I've got my open invoice for the total amount of all the, all the charges in American Express 896.89, and of course if I double click on that invoice it brings up the invoice and inquiry, shows me all the individual transfer items, and it's cool. And then if you went into one of the other individual vendors, like let's say we went into Pacific Telephone, that would be a good one. We pulled up the invoices, and we'll see right here, Pacific Telephone here for 3552, dated May 5th. Here it is, and it shows that it was paid on 916 with a credit card check number. So it's kind of cool, uh, and that's pretty much it. It takes uh, all of the manual entry out, imports in all the individual invoices into their vendors so that you have a complete vendor history, and then transfers them all into American Express. Uh, so it's a pretty cool thing. And what I'd like to do, I'm going to send you back here to our contact info, right? If you have any questions, feel free to email us or call us. And uh, thanks for your time.